Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Nazoth who has quickly climbed to the top of my favorites heroes list for this meta because there's so much potential. So much now with a bunch of good death rattles in the pool to create some crazy scammy, meme whatever you want to call them boards. Non-scaling boards that can do crazy stuff with combinations of barons, with kangors, with cultists, with reborning over and over and over. And then when you put the fish behind it, to do every death rattle one more time again at the end it makes for some some first place viable memes all right enjoy all right all right go go play what dogs okay beasts mech murloc pirate and quobor man every time i see nazoth i want to play nazoth right now there's so much potential for this hero we don't have undead so we don't have permanent death rattles but we do have beasts which is pretty crazy and obviously mech is is silly with machine gun comp. Memes must be had every time we see it. Hey, this is getting old. You gotta lie down. I, I can't deal with you doing circles around me the entire time I'm streaming. Don't be a hard life, girl. Hmm, Nizoth for beasts? It's not necessarily just beasts. Undead and mech both work really well with it at this point too. Not a huge fan. We can do random minion from the next tavern. I guess it's just better. Because realistically, these aren't these aren't good hits. Why isn't Nazas armor count horizontally aligned? Good question. Why is the two like why is it shifted to the right slightly? Art team, this is unacceptable. It looks like it's aligned underneath or over the 30. Like the numbers are aligned. Why is the, the shield shifted to the left a little bit? Nope, can't unsee it. Hey, these are the same cards again. M's doing circles. You can't see her right now. Thankfully, they're calming down enough that I can sit still. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's changed today. The world ain't right. Okay. So we got a lullabot. Pretty solid for early in the game. No real reason to go three on three. We could with just like the hasty excavation. But I don't think we're going to get ETC to go up. So the question becomes, can we do anything with Patient Scout? Or is this just bait? Bran going three on three is pretty crazy. I think it's probably bait. Could better off just going for power at the moment. I think there is a lot of a lot of this meta that is just be stable early game. Go up to Avern Tears, use your health as a resource, turn the corner. So the early portion of the game, leveling three on threes, desperation. We don't need to be that desperate. Good opener. I'm going to go with good enough. Okay, when I say good enough, I mean good enough for a tie. I can live with a tie. So we could level, have nine gold for next turn on three. Alternatively, we could take Sewer Rat and Scallywag, then level next turn and buy the best minion in the shop. Both are good lines. Have not been happier with the scope of the game for forever. Actually, it's, it's probably my favorite start to a season that we have had in, in the history of BGs. That spells feel like the first system that they've added to the game that could be a permanent positive addition and not something that that gets super repetitive. Now, don't get me wrong. We're obviously early in a meta. 
And obviously they need to tune and change and like not keep the same thing forever. But like minions, you could balance. You could balance spells to actually be a positive change to this game for a long time. Forever? Yeah, like forever, ever. Like forever, ever, ever? Oh, is this going to be forever? Okay, game. Okay, game. Game, okay. Okay, game. All right, well, we'll lose, but, but whatever. First meta I've climbed quite easily with little no stress. I mean, it is the first couple days. It's just kind of your initial assumption on whether it matches the game. But yes. Pshaw. Pshaw. <laughs> I can feel that too. It's easy to, to like a meta that you succeed in. And I feel the same way. So there's a bit of an argument about freezing Chef's choice here. We're obviously hemorrhaging a little bit early in this game. We don't want to lose too much health because, like we talked about before, a lot of this meta feels like you need to keep health high so that you can go up and you can leverage health as a resource to be able to to jump the barrier to like five or six, depending on where you've you've been stable up to that point in the game. I'm only at 4.5, but I ended at 9.5. People really scared on low MMR or something? Yeah, I've seen a lot of people that are advocating for like very tempo-oriented lines. I don't think they're very good right now, to be honest. But that's just a guess. Let's be real here. It's just a guess. We've played 48 hours on a meta. I think people are playing pretty scared right now. Huh. Swing and a miss. I need you to come with me, Rasputin. You're the finest. The finest in the land, Rasputin. Come on, let's go. Threes just don't have much right now. Scourfin's a pretty good build around three. What else in the game right now is a three star is, is worth building around? I realize this is hard for you guys to see. Nothing? I mean, Ferrix is a good card, but it's not like I'm staying down to like buy two cards because Ferrix is there. All day it's been like that? Yeah, it depends on the games that you see. Very hard to make generalizations on sample size 10. Uh huh. At least our Divine Shield Taunt is kind of carrying us. It's actually pretty good for this fight. I make a, or I make my opinions the first time I see something and then never change them. Are you 85 years old? Sounds like an 85-year-old mentality. I like it. Pirate, Beast... We could do Pirate and Undead, but that didn't help much. We got Beast here. We got like U, U, or U, 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 probably would be our highest tempo line. Hey, don't put the Feather Mane in your hand before buffing the Beast, because it doesn't buff it when it's in your hand. Even though it says all beasts. I got jabated by Blizzard on that one before. I wasn't very happy about it. Hey, Barrel of Games have you had so far? Two. We got a first and a second. We're on a downward slide. <laughs> two so far, two for two. Good games. One of them was a damage control game and the other one was a scam game where we were able to get the win. They weren't exactly impressive, but one and a two. I'll take it. Well, that's bullshit. Maybe hit one of the, the scallywags for me, baby. Please? Pretty please? Maybe? Very, very rude. Very rude. He's got fucking reborn raptor, too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Honestly, just not a fan. Not a fan, Bob. 
Kind of a rude guy. So we trimmed down damage a little bit, but we still took 10. That was with buying out the maximum stats to put on the board. These guys conceded. This guy was not below 10. This guy might have died. He might have been at 15. really what I was going for. We got a Murgler and a Gas Coiler. Coiler is not really built around. Our better hits would have been like Goldrin or uh, Phalanx. Alright. Murgler isn't terrible. I think we just take the health for the Scally, even though we don't have a good way to scale it. It's a bit awkward. Sure. Surely this coiler fish combo is going to do good work. Okie dokie then. So we hit turn eight. We tripled into a six. The six is lackluster. We unfortunately took a bad matchup in the mid game, so we dropped pretty low in health. We have an even number of people left and no ghost in sight. The only person that was capable of going to six was Holiday. I think we have to start doing shenanigans to, to get a good placement this game. Boat never spawned Coiler. Uh, yeah, I could spawn minions that could spawn Coiler multiple different times with different iterations. We had a lot of different versions of Boat, to be completely fair. Or of uh, Pirates, in the time period that Boat was alive. Hey. This guy needs to die. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have the fish die before all the death rattles. That's probably fine. I wouldn't worry. Sure. Okay, 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 okay. That'll actually do. Good work, Coiler. Ooh. Ooh. We might be able to do six this game with the win and the free spell. Ah, we got to go for it. Three beasts, right? You're killing me, Bob. You're killing me. Uh, one example is Nat Pagel. Nat Pagel existed as a card for a long time. Whenever it overkilled a minion, it spawned a treasure chest. The treasure chest gave you a random golden minion of any type. Just like to, to throw out one random example. Awkward. I guess the play is Scally, right? I'm not getting out of fish. I'm over damage cap. I'm taking Mama Bear. Then again, it is 3-3 three, three Mama Bear. Maybe that's just not worth it here. We spawn one beast. This thing gets a 3-3 three, three buff, which is kind of nice. And then we maybe spawn another beast and we might get beasts here. I guess we spawn a beast here. Sounds like a balanced meta. I mean, it wasn't tremendously imbalanced. It was just frustrating. Those two things can coexist. Having crazy bullshit kill you and a game being balanced is... They can both happen at the same time. It was an anomaly when it happened. You'd be like, fuck, the whole board spawned and it did 30 damage to me on turn 7. Okay. Okay, Bob. Bob, okay. I see you over here. I do. Mm hmm. Coily boy better be doing some work. Preferably not work for the other team. Oh, random spell. Could have been two random spells. Well, not even going to be one random spell. Okay, so you have a single Tethys and a Cleave. Some spell synergy. Interesting. Uh, 
we can go Kangors for lighter. Kangors for Phalanx, too. I think we pick up Kangors. Well, well, Bob! <laughs> those are... Those are most certainly cards. But which one's the right card? This doesn't work very well with fish. It's not like we can go Buster, then have Kangors and Kangors die, and then the fish brings back Busters. It brings back fucking Microbots. But those trigger the, the Mega Buster. Still probably way better, though. Armor's kind of cute. If we lose the round, we could find armor again next turn and stay over damage cap. Oh, that's a, that's a burn. I like burn. Big fan. Big fan, Baron. Big fan. Huge fan. It's time to do some busting. I wonder if you're griefing me now. What transition? Yeah, that's why we go to six. So th what we we're talking about, like not playing scared. A lot of this game right now is just kind of dictated on combinations of cards, not hero powers or anomalies or whatever. And when most of the power is concentrated on higher tavern tiers. We just gotta we just gotta believe that we're not gonna not gonna get murdered. No. <laughs> Yo, library. Appreciate the the sentiment there and appreciate this the seven months man thank you so much keck wiggle only only one month left on the on the sub one turn left rooster doesn't work with fish right because fish doesn't get death rouse until after the minion dies correct so if you're trying to think like the new bird whether or not it's capable of triggering it at the beginning of the combat or something. Unless it had the death rattles added to it somehow. It would not work. Well, that's Exodia Mex. Probably take that shot, right? I really want a way to protect this. It's only two health. Reborn doesn't do it. You could give a taunt. <laughs> and 4-4. Four, four. Then you could 50-50 it. Amusingly, Divine Shield does. If a death row truce twice due to Baron, does the fish copy it twice? No. Just says when a minion dies, not minion triggers its death rattle. Otherwise, the bird would work. Minion only dies once. The death rattle triggers twice. I think we actually want the Mega Buster in the back. No! Fish, no! Still gets the full combo off, but we lose our fish, so we don't get the fish portion of the combo. Fish blows up our board! Is it enough? Bover, can you explain the order which they trigger, left or right? It's not an overly complicated analysis. Left or right? Bye. 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 This guy likes spitting. What a nice gentleman. We're definitely uh, counterable with tech cards. 
We probably should do something to fix that. Sure hope we don't get sniped or anything. Oh, Phalanx. Might be better than the Omega Buster line. It's probably Phalanx, right? We are so weak to cleave. Keep moving everything around so people don't know where our cards are. Mm -hmm. Went for the, the back guy. Wee! <laughs> All phalanx. And now they clean up? Question mark. Man, it's so hard for us to order this to not lose to that tech card. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, it's a W. And it should kill him. I uh, know it doesn't kill him because. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it does. That's a lot of phalanx. <laughs> I forgot what was in the fish. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, stupid beast board. What am I saying? Spawning four phalanx plus 24 damage. Yeah, of course it's gonna. Have you tried not getting stream sniping? I don't think he's stream sniping. I think he was just spitting repeatedly. Maybe it was good-natured spitting. That's all it was. It was just like nice guy spitting. You know, like like charming people in this world. Too late for this pivot. OMG, they put it back. This wasn't in the game up until, until like right now. Your death rattles trigger twice. Well, that's great. Seems pretty good with Baron. Now, we got a bit of a problem here as the ghoul will kill the Baron. At the very least, I'm picking it up. We may have to drop ghoul. Where's my one extra gold? All right, we're going to have to play without gold. Allows us to play one, two tribes. Three tribes with Baron. Sporebat MVP. Sporebat's a great card. Sporebat just isn't a great card here. Oof. It's already huge. Hey! The fuck? Okay. Okay, asshole. It's not like it automatically hits Baron. It just hits any minion it can kill, which is all of the minions. What a piece of shit. <laughs> okay, hopefully we don't die here, because, like, it should just be one minion alive at the end. Actually, I'm kind of keck waiting here for a second. I realize there's a Mergul, which needs to be cleaned up by bullshit, but we have a lot of bullshit. It is very possible that we could clean this up. Uh-huh. 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 So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> All right, well, this is why I picked this off, man. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. First game of the day. That went pretty well. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Small board, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> what a video game we play. This is why we picked this off right now. Dude, straight up memes. Just prints out the fucking memes, man. Hopefully I don't die, he says, and then proceeds to 48 the opponent. <laughs> true, true. Good comment, chat. We're losing. This is so bad. OMG, OMG, he's dead. I've watched too much Dog Dog, man.